life sucks, life sucks, life sucks, life sucks. Hi, welcome back to the podcast. This is episode five of Life Sucks. So you guys just tuned into my last episode. Hopefully you listened to it and now you're back for the next episode that's coming out at the same time. Um so we're just back to it. So this entry from when I was eighteen is labeled Yeah, comma, I'm back to writing. <laughs> that's just a pretense to I guess what I'm gonna be writing about but the general vibe of it is like really positive so that's actually good um if I take like some pauses in this it's probably because I'm trying to think of replacement names because it seems like I name a lot of people who like I've become friends with and who I'm falling out with and stuff like that I guess but uh, we'll just carry on with this and go how we go. But yeah, this is from maybe a month after my 18th birthday. So, freshly new 18 year old. Alright, so here we go. So life is much better than last year that I read. <laughs> I ended up having different issues with my roommate, but moved out the second semester. Issues included small stuff. She would only complain about sound and became a little bitchy when she either woke up or was trying to sleep. Understandable, but I was not comfortable with her nonetheless. (laughs) Oof. When I was in the room, I would not look forward to seeing her. But... It wasn't as horrible as the first year. Ooh, yeah, that first year was bad. I made new friends, and then I named, like, one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, seven people. I put in parentheses Drake as well. I'm going to say Drake because Drake becomes, like, a character that comes in later. That's kind of important. But, yeah, I'm saying, uh, I lost Katie and Drake as far as friends go. So, context, um, Katie and Drake, like, um, they used to be, like, a couple. But I got a lot of good ones, so I'll visit the lost friends later. I got a job as a peer mentor for social justice as of January. So, I got the roommates and friends and co-workers of Stone and Colleen. They're great, just extreme people. Latasha would be my turn-up friend. So, dances or events like open mic we'd meet up for. Eleanor, I didn't get to know well, but I did homework with her one time and ate with her a few times. She's cool, especially because... Let's see, she gave me a Garfield plush toy as a gift when I was leaving um, the university. I also have um, one good is crossed out and placed with amazing. So one amazing friend from back home, Jessica. She's great with reaching out after long loss of contact, which is great. I'm bad at following up with people. It's like I forget if they aren't in front of me. There's a few others, but I'm unsure about our statuses. (laughs) Emma went MIA last year, and I heard from Jessica that she's going through a lot. I texted her, and she she's busy with stuff, but she wanted to catch up sometime. We'll see about that. Abby seemed... (laughs) down to hang but isn't real with any dates so I think she replied just to be nice and in parentheses I put she's religious Judas <laughs> is she is it Judas or Jehovah Witness I feel like it's Jehovah Witness what is Judas okay whatever yeah let me know if you know what Judas is 
if you're on YouTube, you can comment and tell me. For the podcast, I don't know how that works. <laughs> I appreciate her sentiment. Um, Ellie is questionable because she said she was down but didn't invite me to her graduation party. Figured that from, let's see, overhearing she had one at Jessica's graduation party. Jessica's graduation party was great. She planned an amazing party with good food, and she took pics on her phone and could print them right then and there to put into, like, a scrapbook. So cool. She used an HP sprocket. I don't know how much it costs, but I want something like that. Either a Polaroid, ugh, either a Polaroid camera or something like that. Met some people from HB, which is my high school, um, but it felt a bit distant since I wasn't there for two years after all. <laughs> Back to friends, I saw Tyler, and Tyler, he is the guy who went to my high school. Um, I saw Tyler and thought we could be cool for the summer, but I'm not sure. <laughs> I texted him late May, but he never replied. Then I saw him in person at one of my recreation assistant trainings. <laughs> I have a recreation assistant job with Arlington County government. The interview went well, yay! Um, we talked for some time, and it was nice to see him again. At the time, he said that he didn't have his phone for a month or two. I don't believe that, but he said to text that number if I want to hang. <laughs> I felt like, ain't hey, karma a bitch. <laughs> like, cause when he ignored my text, I bet he thought I would never see him. <laughs> but he did. <laughs> I feel a little sorry for him because that awkward thing happened to him. <laughs> I also feel like a stalker because I'm the only one approaching him and he doesn't reach out to me. I just stopped texting him then. <laughs> Let's see, so I think of crazy theories about his thoughts like he saw... <laughs> like he saw the number in my phone and lied about it being right to keep me away from him. There was, there was another training two days after, <laughs> wait, after that encounter, and I immediately saw him and walked to him to talk. That conversation was a bit more awkward because I didn't know what to talk about. <laughs> he doesn't give me the vibe of, I want to talk to you, and left somewhere else. <laughs> oh, wow. Now I really feel bad for him. <laughs> It's just like I can't take a hint. <laughs> oh god, that's so funny. I guess I was just so thirsty for companionship for the summer. <laughs> oh goodness. Let's see, so I'll try to just not contact him or talk to him first so he can relax and be comfortable at future trainings. Especially since the last text was the one he ignored. It was quote unquote, is this Tyler's number? Question mark. Ouch. Period. <laughs> anyway, I also don't get the vibe from him because in our first talk he mentioned his mom. So he could be, what? Oh, so he could leave. Question mark. <laughs> He was like, oh, I have to go talk to my mom or something? That's funny. I'm like, what? That's weird to say unless you're extremely uninterested in the person you're talking to. <laughs> it's so funny how I'm still thirsty like last year, just not as drastic, I guess. <laughs> oh, goodness. Aww, okay. I'm just talking about sex. I said, I'm not ready. I'm not ready to, like I was two years ago. <laughs> I decided uh, I would do it when I found someone I thought I loved. Oh, great. Who I think I love. <laughs> so I'm not very optimistic about love. 
Uh, so I'm in no rush, but I do like kissing and touching. I realized this after I did that with someone last year, fall 2017. <laughs> that was Drake, and it didn't end well. Anyway, <laughs> I guess I'll continue my search, but not in Tyler. I guess I thought it would be great because we're from the same high school, and I remembered that he was my crush from middle school. Yeah, so <laughs> so distance from Tyler and closeness to other people. Um, I'm trying to be more open with my coworkers. I feel slightly awkward with them. It seems that they all worked together last year and I wasn't there, so I feel a bit like the odd one out. There's Ryan, who's also a new hire like me, so I'll try to be friends with her. Oh yeah, I did become friends with her. She was so nice. Like, we did putt-putt together. Like, she was lit. Like, she was nice. She didn't have any AC in her car in the summer. Oof. Was so hot. <laughs> but she was fun. She was fun. Um, but yeah, that's that. Um, okay, so I have goals. So my goals for the summer, 2018, are to work slash excel at my job, get a car, 4K needed, get a new computer, um, my current one's acting weird, have my nails done, go to the beach, read faster for the MCAT, so this is still when I'm like, I want to be a doctor, so I'm like, I gotta know things for the MCAT, <laughs> um, so yeah, there's a goal, finish research about different med schools and miscellaneous schools that come to mind for the week, um, so just finish training. So there's training for the rec assistant job, like online, so I guess this is to finish that. I wrote these things on a dry erase board so I can keep it up to date. I start working July, so I have time till then. Um, it's now June. So I want to finish my med school research by then and really internalize the trainings I had as I instruct my 46 year old. <laughs> I'm excited to see how my time goes there. I'm going to UVA in the fall um, as a transfer student. I did research about organizations and classes and signed up for Handshake, a network for jobs and internships. I also updated my LinkedIn and created a website to display my experience and resume. Yeah. I'm going to be a biology major, um, going through the pre-med track. That went south. <clears throat> I feel good about my major decision. <laughs> Little do I know that when I show up for orientation, they're like, sis, did you take cell bio? Oh, you didn't? You can't be a bio major now. <laughs> you have to take that first. Like, your biology class that you took? Don't count, sis. <laughs> it's literally what they said to me. I'm like, dang. I look around. Oh, my God. <laughs> so awkward. Anyway, back to this. Um, I thought of business, but I don't think it's for me. I don't have such a great interest in it. And if I'm doomed in the future, or if I do it in the future, I don't know. Then I'll take my passion and learn all about it then. <laughs> I'm 20% interested in law school. Oh, there we go. I'm 100% interested now. That's hilarious. Um, but I'm not outspoken at all. I dislike public speaking. Um, and I seem to not be very logical according to the LSAT quiz by Gaplet. <laughs> I seem to have better chance of the MCAT with a 75% score. <laughs> not surprising since all of my classes have been directed to the med school path. Well, I need to actually attend some of the free sessions I signed up for. Uh, I keep forgetting about them. I'll start putting them into my phone calendar. That's a good idea. Anyway, I experienced another failure thing in 2017. <laughs> I got fired from a scribe job at the hospital near Sabin's Rock. I got two calls from different managers to fire me twice. They had they had a miscommunication. They fired me twice. <laughs> and it was two different people. I remember that. It was crazy. Anyway, let let's see how I describe it here. 
that was ridiculous. The second call was from a different manager and she tried to blame me entirely for my firing or quote unquote termination. She said, um, what did she say? A me. Oh, among other multiple things that I lacked passion. For some reason, that was the thing that stuck with me and irritated me the most. I didn't know what passion was then because I was betting my life on becoming a doctor and going to med school. I wanted to do biomedical engineering at one point because there's a 3-2 program with Columbia, which was my dream school. My plan was to apply to med school after the program. Sadly, I didn't meet the requirement after getting a C in chemistry. I thought I would follow through with it anyway because I still had a chance with Columbia if I did that. I moderated at Simon's Rock with a... Oh, moderation, like, when I say I moderate at Simon's Rock, it's like a whole sort of... I don't know, process that second years go through. So you're at like the end of your second year and it's basically like declaring your major. Um, But with that, you have to like write an essay about like why you want to um, like pursue that major. Um, So I did that with biomedical engineering. Let's see. Yeah, because I thought um, I could create synthetic functioning organs to help people like my grandfather so my grandfather um he had some issues with his lungs so I was like maybe I could you know help people like him by becoming a biomedical engineer you know possibly and then let's see obviously comma this (laughs) this lady who was firing me for the second time over the phone didn't know that (laughs) I never let her know about that as I was too shocked to explain my situation. (laughs) Cause she was upset. She was like, you're not pre-med. Your, your major is biomedical engineering. I feel like after you study, you know, your four years, then you should come back and be like a scribe. Cause I don't know. I think that's what she did. And I don't know. It just felt like hater vibes, you know, from a grown adult ish, grown ish adult. I don't know. Anyway, that was that was funny. And I call that a failure. <laughs> I mean, look at getting fired twice. <laughs> like, dang. <laughs> um, okay. Well, that's the past of 2017. 2018 looked much better. Um, let's see. I'm prettier. I got a dermatologist in over 10 months of Epiduo medication. I am just about acne free. Good for me. I get a few, one or two pimples when I eat poorly, but it's very manageable on, like, last year. Yeah, it was, like, a whole, like, I broke out so much, like, all over my face. It looked like hives or something. It was really bad. But good for me. Let's see. I mentioned this because that seems to have been a goal of 2017. It's depressing and heartbreaking that I saw myself as ugly. (laughs) Yes, indeed. (laughs) Um, Well, it seems I was very vain. Indeed, but realistic slash harshly honest. But yeah, 2018 is a much better year. Of course, there were some downs, and with downs, there were some ups and highs. So it's my 2018 update. Maybe I'll come back next year or later this year. Um, I guess I'll discuss the relationships that went badly in 2017. I'll stop after that. Sorry to end on a negative-ish note. Um, It's... Ish because I learned from the experiences. Um, so I called it a relationship, but it's actually not because um, I was too much of a wuss to try to find anything. So I'll just call it a thing. So the thing only happened in the fall of 2017, <laughs> but only over three weeks. I love myself so much. I get so invested in three weeks. <laughs> Listen to this. Okay, so traumatizing, I guess, since I still remember it. I still remember it, and it's like a good three years later. <laughs> Dang, sis. <laughs> Dang. Um, anyway. Let's see, yeah. So this made me realize that I wasn't... <laughs> I wasn't ready. Oh my god. 
I wasn't ready for, um, I I guess, getting physical. And I was perfectly okay with it. (laughs) As I reflect, it was very weird. I talked to him sometimes outside the dorm, but I would only get intimate with him when we were in our shared dorm. I didn't do that on purpose, it was just what I was comfortable with. He was weird and gave me a red flag when he gave me requirements for being with him. He told me to tell his ex-girlfriend, who was my friend at the time, about our thing, that we were something and he felt uncomfortable if we were continuing to do what we were doing without her like knowing, but like low-key she knew already. (laughs) Uh, let's see, and then was insistent on telling him what was bothering me. So I guess I gave him attitude, and he was like, what's wrong? And I was like, nothing, I'm fine. And he was like, what's wrong? And he was insisting like a motherfucker. I hated it. And then let's see, I told him nothing. Yep, I was tired and stressed out because STEM classes are hard. Then 20 minutes later, I saw him in like our shared bathroom for the dorm. And to assure him I was fine, I kissed him. Passionately. <laughs> that thing would have <laughs> it would have turned unhealthy very quickly. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, unhealthy. Ooh. Unhealthy relationships or things. It was also bad because my roommate walked in on us two times. <laughs> oh my god, that's so true. <laughs> Should have locked the door after the first time. So awkward. <laughs> Then it ended with me hearing from my friend, um, slash his ex-girlfriend, that he was sleeping with some other girl who lived in the same building. (laughs) At first I didn't care, and then I thought about it and got pissed. (laughs) I vented out to my friend, you know, who was his ex-girlfriend, and um, never talked to him about it. Um, he stayed with the other girl. Um, it got so awkward because his ex-girlfriend, his ex-thing, who was me, and his current girl, like, we all rode in a car one time to go back to the dorm because, like, we, we all lived in the same dorm. So we had an awkward-ass, like, car ride, and <laughs> that was just like, oh my god, oof. <laughs> just yikes. It made me so uncomfortable because when I... Oh wait, let me see. When I bought food, I wanted to avoid him so much that I walked to a different dorm's fridge and put my stuff there. Yep. I avoid conflict so much. Anyway, I also stopped using the nicer bathroom side because I wanted to avoid him. Oof. Also, went to class early or late to avoid him. Wow. I really went out of my way to avoid this person. That's so (laughs) depressing. This is why you should not, I don't know, you shouldn't bother with people that much. Like, it's not that deep. (laughs) Yeah, it was that bad. So, some reason, uh, let's see, it felt bad when I was around him. No shit. Like, (laughs) that feeling went away as time passed and the next 2018 semester came. Yeah, so, like, I got over it, but, like, I don't know. I guess when, when it was fresh feelings were fresh it was like oh my god so extreme i guess since i went to such great lengths to like avoid this person it's crazy let's see eventually i got to move out and when i saw him with his new girlfriend i wouldn't have that like icky feeling like i didn't care anymore um i moved on which was great because i received (laughs) No action from anyone else after him, so I thought I would have been in worse condition for a while, just not moving on. (laughs) Oh, dang. But hey, I'm happy for them now. They stayed together way longer than I thought they would for sure, and they're both staying at Simon's Rock, so I say, let's see, avoid? I don't know. I don't know what um what I wrote here, like along with my friends. Okay, I don't know. Weird. Let's see, for not seeing my friends, not the guy is <laughs> what? Oh what? Oh, so I say a voir. Okay, I was trying to rate some French in the air, but your girl doesn't speak French. Like <laughs> Parlez-vous l'anglais? Like that's what I know. 
do you not speak English? That's what that means. Um, we oui. okay. Um, anyway, yeah. So I say au revoir to them along with my friends. <laughs> Frowny face. <laughs> oh gosh, that's funny. Let's see. Katie and I just got out of touch. So Katie was like the one who was my friend and like his ex. Um, I ran out of drama to discuss with her. <laughs> <laughs> and how horrible people are so we became more distant uh me moving out widened that gap as well so okay it's the end of my year update hope all's good heart so that's it for um our episode five next time i'm gonna come in with some stories from when i was at 19 um it'll probably be stories from my semester abroad so i transferred to UVA in like the fall of 2018 um I had bought my car that summer and I was like you know feeling good I was like oh yeah this would be nice um and it was it was it was actually a pretty pretty good year in general I would say um I think the fall something weird that happened was just like I started going to, like, frat parties and stuff, and, um, one time, like, I became friends with this girl there, and she was in my organic chemistry class, so at this time, I was still pre-med, and then, basically, um, I drove to a party, and I invited her, I was like, oh, let's, like, go, it'll be fine, and then, um basically the night ends with like her throwing up everywhere and I didn't drink because I was driving and she was like throwing up and I was like oh my god like what is going on here and then she threw up in my car it was a whole thing I brought her to the ER the hospital and um I she woke up at like six something she was pounding on my door and cause I think she forgot her stuff in my car and then I drove her home, um, cause I live like five minutes from the hospital, so I wasn't that far away at all. And she didn't live that far from me, so it was fine. But yeah, that was crazy. Like I was like, oh my god, who does this? My new beauty, my car. The guys who clean my car after they were like, man, we knew somebody threw up in here, but we didn't want to say anything. <laughs> I was like, yeah, like sorry, you guys. You know, a party. You know, <laughs> happened. Somebody. <laughs> Somebody did what they did in my car. So, you know, I mean, they pay for the cleaning, but still, it's like, mm, not so bueno, not so good. And then, I don't know, besides that, like, I changed my major to Latin American Studies. And then, fast forward to, like, the second semester. Um, oh, yeah, I, I got some action then. Um, that was interesting. It was, it was very complex. Um, not complex. I think it was just weird because, like, it was with a guy who was, like, in med school. And it was, like, I think this person was, like, five years older than me. It was weird. <laughs> like, <laughs> I don't know. But anyway, it was interesting. And then my semester abroad. I'm going to talk about that um, for the next episode. So that will be next week. I'm not kidding. Okay, I'm not, I'm not gonna lie this time. Um, I know I've been off the grid for like the last two weeks, but just hearing about like all the protests and like death of George Floyd and just piling on top of like the other deaths that have been happening, it's just like one thing after another. There's plenty of instances of like police brutality that's being broadcast on the news, so it's just been like, um, pretty heavy and kind of like a lot for me to process so I haven't really been able to sit down and like think about the podcast so much but um gonna be back um next week I'm gonna say next Monday come out with like another episode um mark it on the calendar so I'm saying this on Tuesday next Monday 22nd we're gonna have episode six so stay tuned for that All right, so thanks for listening, you guys. Have a fantastic week. All right, bye. Life sucks, life sucks, life sucks, life sucks.